Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna to be recreating some palettes out of my single shadows. I haven't done this in forever and I'm so excited. It was so much fun. I've already done it, but I'm filming this intro like this because it's all overhead today. I'm not gonna be doing a look. You're not gonna see my face unless you peep it in a mirror probably. But um, yeah, so today I have three palettes I'm really excited to get into. Two are from ColourPop. It's the Getting Fresh, I don't know, the Resting Beach Face one, the big old palette with greens and the bronzes and all that. Then there's the one and done palette from ColourPop. I just loved those hot pinks and I thought it was a, just a fun collection. So that palette's been on my mind and I thought it'd be fun. I already had some hot pinks in mind that I already knew I had in singles. So I have that palette. And then the newest Anastasia palette as well. It hasn't quite launched yet, but um, there is something about it I like, you know, something that seems like understated and neutral and just wearable. And I just immediately thought of my Sydney Grace shadows. So I thought that I could probably dupe that one out too. I don't know if I actually wanna buy it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm sorry I won't be doing a demo, but I really wanna get this video up, so. And I think the last thing I wanna say before we get into the palettes, I by no means am duping these like 100%. And I just wanted to point out that obviously when I'm duping these or making my own versions, I, I think in every case, my palette might be more more money if you bought all the single shadows individually. I'm not doing this to like save money in that way. Uh, it would cost more money, especially too with ColourPop. I mean, it's like affordable makeup, but more than anything, I'm trying not to bring new stuff that I might already have better stuff in my collection or, you know, just can, let that pass and always new stuff will come out. So it's more about shopping my stash than it is about like duping it for cheaper. I just thought I'd point that out because <laughs> yeah, if that were the case, it's like, here, let me dupe this palette out and it cost three times as much money as it would have. So um, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Let's get into it. I want to start with the ColourPop ones and I'm really excited for the Getting Fresh palette. Don't ask me why. I don't know. The neutrals, the greens, it just looked really textured in a lot of the photos that I saw at least online like on Instagram and stuff. So I want to recreate that. I don't think I'm going to make something as big and I'm not going to do direct like comparisons or duping. You know, I just want to do something that's like neutral and green. And so I'm going to shot my stash first. I think it's a good warm up one too because it's not super special specific and um, it's just kind of fun. So let me go through my collection, find some greens, find some browns and create something similar. Okay, I hope everything with the focusing isn't weird. I've never seen the message I just got, so mm. <laughs> so fingers crossed that nothing's weird. As you can see, lots of greens. I pulled some amazing things. Let me just show you a few standouts before I get into it because I'm kind of just gonna make I mean, it's still gonna be a pretty big palette, um, but yeah, <laughs> I thought I would just share. I almost have like a half and half thing going on right now uh, in terms of like what I picked out. It's always so tough for me to find actual neutrals in my singles collection. I think for so long I was getting like the special shades that I kind of have a whole when it comes to really neutral colors. The greens from Shine by SD are really bringing it when it comes to just intensity and shine. Like I am over here like freaking out. <laughs> and I know these are amazing. I just, I don't know. So yeah, like what? <laughs> This is 24K. I have tons of swatch videos. I think I have a swatch video at least somewhere with almost all my shadows from Shine SD. Um, but yeah, they're so good. This one's Rave from the same collection. 
they're pretty similar, but one has like a stronger green shift to it. You can kind of see it there on the side. Oh my gosh. Okay, so those are just beautiful. There's also lighter ones. This one's called Already In. And that one's like a lighter green. It's looking more gold, but in my view, I get more of that color. I thought this green was really pretty and like summery. This one's called Think I'm Crazy. It's kind of sheer, which is so pretty. This one's retro, which has more blue and like purple to it. That one's so pretty as well. So, I mean, I'm just like, damn, I wanna put all these in um, cause they're just so fun. This one is from Pretties For Your Face. This is called, I think, Brocade. That one I definitely wanna put in. I just definitely want the greens, a lot of the greens to have that texture, like, that's something that's exciting to me. I also like greens that almost look neutral. So like this one from Sydney Grace is called Peach Harvest. And this is actually like, I don't know, when it's by neutrals, it looks green because it kind of is. It's dark and moody. So like something like that's kind of exciting to me as well. Kind of same with this. This is called Moolah from Luxy, And it's not super textured, but it's kind of a satin. And I don't know, there's something just like kind of muted about it. I like that too. So I'm excited to create a palette. I do have some neutrals as well. I tried to go for texture on these too. This one's from Shine by SD called Harvest and it has a green flip but it also is like golden and you know orange and stuff. The Monarch from Luxie is one of my favorites. I don't know, I went with kind of the warmer tones, but I'm gonna create a palette and put it in this bigger, what's this called, Z palette. So I'm probably gonna take up most of this and just make something that has a lot of colors in it. I can reach for more about the overall like greens and brown color story. I don't think this will be as many shades as the actual color pop. So anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I hope you enjoy watching me put it together and I'll swatch it out at the end. Okay, so I literally just made the ColourPop palette. <laughs> like, I didn't condense it at all. I just made my version. And you know what? Lots more greens in here. Um, and I realized, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm really into it. I think it's really pretty. And I'm excited to kind of have these to play around with. But yeah, definitely no condensing whatsoever happened. I kept some things pretty similar. So I tried to put, like, this kind of matches that color in the color pop. This is in the same place as well. I tried to have, I don't know, just some standout things, I thought anyway, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely different. Mine leans so much more green than it does like neutral, and mostly that's because I just didn't feel like I had different enough neutrals. I definitely didn't have as dark of neutrals as this one went, so I added some black, even this kind of gray. I thought that kind of went with some of the cooler greens that are in here. So I'm really happy with it. I think I'm gonna go row by row maybe and let you know 
what things are and kind of swatch them out. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys like that. The first shade here is called Hopeful. This is a iridescent multi-chrome type color from Shine by SD, and it's definitely very sheer. I thought this would be good for inner corner, kind of topping over stuff. It just kind of is cohesive to the palette, I felt like. This is Firefly from Glam Shop, and this one's just a neutral, again, kind of shimmery, sheer, very sparkly formula. I really like their shadows. I have a whole video on Glam Shop um, in my whole collection, so check that out if you want. Next is another Shine by SD. This one's called Lucent, and it is yellow, but then it has this beautiful green flash to it, and I just liked that. I mean, this is a palette that came out during summer, so I really liked that it had something different going on. It also has a bit of an orange flash to it as well. Next, this is Goddess from Glam Shop. This is similar to Firefly, but it has like a pink sparkle as well, and it pulls a little cooler toned. This next shade is a matte shade from Sydney Grace called Picking Peaches. I believe it was limited edition, but I liked the pops of peach that were in these palettes, so I decided to keep those going, like the corally peachy shades. Then this is Bel Air from ColourPop. This is one of the best, like, new neutrals, I feel like, from ColourPop. So good. It's also definitely a neutral where it doesn't pull warm, but it doesn't pull too cool either, and I thought it was a nice matte, like a very useful shade in the palette. And then last over here, this is from Terra Moons, and this is one of those red-based green shades. This is called Hot Spiced Cider. Um, this one's really, really pretty. Definitely one of the duochromes and like the types of duochromes I really enjoy. But yeah, really pretty row of shadows. I tried to keep it like lightest to darkest. So these are some of the lighter shades. Next for the second row, this is called Social Butterfly from Luxie. This is one of the most beautiful single shadows that I have. It's a neutral, but it also has some green. It has some pink. It's just beautiful. It's like one of their standout shades for sure. This next one from Shine by SD is called Tickle Me. I really like that it's a muted green. There's something about it that's kind of gray almost, but it has like a golden shimmer as well. I believe it's from one of the Golden Hour collections from Shine by SD. Then we have this shade from ColourPop. It's a matte called Flower Boy, and I feel like this is probably pretty close to what's in the palette considering it's already from uh, color pop, but I really, again, liked those kind of corally colors. Next is that Moolah shade from Luxy. I definitely wanted to put this in. I like that it's low key in terms of the actual finish on it. There's something about it I really like because I feel like it's different. I couldn't not put 24K in here. I actually put both Rave and 24K, but this is just a beautiful golden green. It looks gold here, but I'm telling you it's also green and stunning, Ugh, beautiful. I have like my favorite discontinued shadow I got from All Cosmetics Wholesale about 17 million years ago. This is Fireflies from Stars Makeup Haven a defunct company. I mean, they do not exist. <laughs> I know. I mean, they probably didn't exist for a long time, even after I got them there. But this green just, oh, it's the best like acidy green that I've ever, ever, ever encountered. And then last here, this is from MAC. And this is the shade Antiqued, which is a really pretty reddy bronze. And I find that the finish on this is that really great satin. And so I really like how this row looks. I mean, the textures, the colors, so much interest, so much excitement just in the second row. I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm kind of glad that I didn't condense this palette down too much because I just feel like, why do I need to do that like it already looks so good <laughs> like it looks great and I just use it as inspo and shop my stash I'm so glad anyway I love this moving on to the next row this one is rave I believe yeah this is the shade rave from shine by SD this is the one that has like the orange and the gold to it that's what you can see but I can see that green flash which is very strong next this is the shade sea stars from ColourPop. Uh, just a useful matte I really did try to keep some of those in uh, because I do think they'll be useful. And obviously, if you didn't want to do greens, there's a few neutral shimmers in here as well to do something fun. The next shade is Think I'm Crazy from Shine by SD. This one is definitely a little sheer, which I actually like. I think it kind of adds to something in the palette. Oh, so pretty. This is almost like a cooler toned green, almost like leaning on like mint or teal or blue. Really, really pretty. The base on it almost seems purple. Next is Coppa Feel from Luxie. This is one of the neutral shades. I just thought having a nice like copper, almost 
leaning on burgundy would be pretty. The next shade is the Monarch, again from Luxie. I really love this one as well. This one's more true bronze, but there's a sparkle running through this that is so brilliant, so beautiful. I really love that. It makes it definitely different. This next one, I believe, is Sydney Grace, and I think it's from one of the Temptalia palettes. Yeah, it's from the On the Horizon palette. It's the second shade in there. And this one is so pigmented. It has more of that cool tone, almost like a sagey like tone to it, sagey green. And then last, this one's from Glam Shop, and it's just a bright, more golden copper instead of like a... Uh, I don't know, pink or red. I don't have the name on that one off the top of my head, but these will all be down below in case you're that interested. I mean, this isn't meant to ever be like, go buy these shadows. I mean, this costs way fucking more than the ColourPop palette. If you're looking for like price, obviously ColourPop is gonna be such a value. This is just what I have, getting inspired by what I have instead of just buying more type of thing. And I hope that it'll inspire you obviously to shop your own stash. But anyway, those are the swatches, stunning once again love them a lot more neutrals in this one but oh so good I'm like into this I'm so glad I haven't done this in a while and I'm taking my time on this palette aren't I with the swatches <laughs> fourth row here we go this is harvest from shine by SD a neutral with pizzazz because this has that green that gold that orange so much going on with it. So I love that one. Um, this one, I wanted a matte green. There weren't any matte greens, I think, in the palette. This is called Spoiled Mate, maybe. <laughs> I think that's maybe what it's called. But I just wanted at least some matte greens. I just thought it would kind of tie everything together. I believe this shade is Caddy Pillar from Luxy. Another stunning one. I feel like their whole butterfly collection honestly was just so good. Just some really stunning shades in there. Like this one, I like the purple Painted Lady maybe is the purple one, so good. Anyway, this one's called Escape. The next one from Sydney Grace, man. It's hard to keep all these brands straight. <laughs> this next one's called Ballistic from Shine by SD. This has a red base and it has like a blue green kind of shift on it. Really pretty, really into that one. Next is another Glam Shop shadow. This is a matte though, a very, very warm, like terracotta-y brown. I don't know the name off the top of my head. Again, it'll be down below. And then this is from Colored Rain. I don't think these exist anymore. I got them on a really good deal. This is a beautiful green though, and it has a blackened base. It's called Paradise Isle, but there's like this top that's really quite shimmery and beautiful. So I love that. These two together, like this in the crease, this just all over the eye, and maybe this tapped on, like, oh! That'd be so good. Love this little row. Kind of looks jungly too, like if you wanted to go there, but um, love that. Last row in the palette, we can do it. This is Red Chameleon from Sydney Grace. This is one of those like black blue pigments or whatever, brown, whatever, I don't know. It has the red base, but it also has like more of a green, like almost purple leaning. It's very interesting, but also like one of the duochromes that was like popular even when duochromes weren't as popular. Anyway, really pretty. I thought it added some depth and interest. This next shade is a matte from Colored Rain called Chocolate. It's one of my darkest mattes, so I definitely wanted to put that in. Really beautiful, rich color. Then we have Pretty for your face brocade. This is adding so much dimension, so much texture. One of the best shadows from them. Um, I, I highly suggest this one if you're gonna pick anything up from the brand. Then we have Peach Harvest, which this one is from City Grace. It is limited edition or like I don't know, it came out with a Christmas and July sale a couple years ago, but stunning. We're really getting into those dark, grungy colors in this row, love that. This is the shade Enigma, and this is actually just from AOA, so it's like a dollar shadow. Um, but I added a gray in, I just needed some dark colors, honestly, and I don't have that many dark browns in different tones. Then this is called Two Earth from Sydney Grace, another really dark, like, Oh, mossy, moist green, so pretty. It's like the richest depths of the forest in winter. And then last, another Sydney Grace. This is from one of the Temptalia palettes. I think it's in the Quintessence, 
Quintessence, I don't know. It's number one in there though. It's basically just a soft black. I mean, it's pretty pigmented, but there's something kind of soft about it. So that's the last row. So much depth. I feel like, man, I knocked it out of the park using their little stencil. <laughs> I think anyway. I'm really into this palette. I'm really excited to use it actually. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me create it. Um, even if I didn't condense it down, I think mm, it's good. This is so good. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad I'm doing this. I honestly just get so excited by putting colors and matching them together. I've always really been into like coloring and just colors in general. And I think as an exercise, regardless of even putting these on my eyes, like I wanna do that too, but I really just enjoy seeing them together and swatching them and you know, that whole creative just process before that even happens of putting the makeup on. So anyway, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. That's my version of the getting fresh, resting beach face. I don't know, whatever that collection was. That's my version, I love it. The next palette that I wanna do, this one is also from ColourPop. This is the One and Done palette. I think that's also the name of the collection, but it was like that cowgirl looking palette and I just loved, again, the pinks and I have some thoughts on what I wanna do. I might add more pinks, I don't know, but I do wanna keep it 12. So I'm gonna keep it the same size. I'm not condensing it and we'll see what I pick. So let me just pick out some shades. Okay, I have some really amazing shades, obviously. I was so excited for this one to recreate because I know my pinks are gonna be so bomb, so amazing. I already had some in mind from Shine by SD, so I think I'll just show them really fast. This one's called Hottie, and it is a beautiful, like warm, almost neon-y, orangey pink. Like, <laughs> ColourPop could never. Like, ColourPop could never, you know? Like, I'm never gonna get this in there. So that one's awesome. If I want more cool tone though, this one's called Loving Magenta. And this one has more of that purple, which again, stunning. So glittery, so sparkly, like get the fuck out of here. I'm not sorry to cuss, but it's just what I feel. This one's so sweet from Shine by SD. This one's more almost of that like purpley sheerness. Again, so pretty. This is called Guessing Games, again from Shine by SD. This one almost, I mean, it comes off like cotton candy. It's very like light. It's a good like inner corner. I'll probably put the Reserve Collection shadow. That's the pink one in here because how could I not? These are like my first love texture shadows. You guys know I've been loving on these from day one. Number three from the Reserve Collection. Some other pinks that I have in here. This one is called Glass Wing from Luxy. This is also from one of those butterfly collections. So good. That one I really like. I think uh, it's so tough. Guessing game so good. I think though I'll probably stick with these three pinks. So let me find those. Love this one, love that one. Okay, those and then that, I do like that. These ones I don't think I'm gonna use. I would love to add both of these like colors and not just the one. I mean, I want this to be very heavily that pink and a little less of the neutrals. So we'll see what ends up happening. I threw this orange in, I'm not gonna actually do it, but this one from, again, Shine by SD. This is called Daylight, so pretty. It has like that hot pink flip on it but that's a different day, different whole situation. I was really interested in the cool tone shades that were in there. There's also a beautiful gold, and so I have a few options for that as well. So for my cool tone options, I had these three, I felt like. This one's not as cool, but this is Angel Wings from Luxy, one of my favorites, again, from the collection that they have. That one's so pretty. That might even go in for my gold instead of a cool toned. We have Cold Smoke from Glam Shop, which I just, I'm obsessed with. I love that color. But then if I wanted something actually cooler, like silver almost, this one is from Glam Shop also. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. And then this one's from uh, Shine Bestie. This one's called Striker. 
and it's just a really blue toned silver, which is stunning. So I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know what to do. I'm like running out of space on my hand, but I kind of want all these together. The two golden colors I have almost lean green and that's why I don't really like love them. This one's Light My World from Sydney Grace. And then this one's more from Luxy, and it's called Peacock. Peacock's pretty though. And I like that yellow gold with the pink. I think it adds some nice contrast. So I think my top ones for these are those. I can eliminate those two, um, which you can't even see what's going on here. Let me fix that a little bit. So these I know I want, but I only have 12 spaces and we're coming up on that. So I'm still gonna need to like make some cuts, I feel like. If I'm trying to like stick to the palette a little bit, I'm gonna look at that first. So I don't really have that white shade. Instead, I'm choosing to do something that could be used like for an inner corner or, you know, like that. So I'm gonna put the light pink up there first. Then I do like that this has a orangey brown. So I do think I'm gonna actually add this. This one I think is just from ColourPop. Yeah, it's called Beach Blanket. So I'm gonna put that in. Then we have another pink and I have a lot of different options I could do. I think though, I'm gonna put the hot pink that's like warmer toned in there. Again, that one's hottie. And then I do want like a dark brown. I'm gonna go darker than what's in here. I'm gonna go with a little boat from ColourPop in there up there in the corner. Then we have the golden shade and I think Peacock won out. So I'm gonna put Peacock in. Then I have the glass wing fits the next color really well. I'm gonna put the uh, Loving Magenta as the other pink. Then we need that silver and this is where it's gonna get so tough. This is what would actually like look like the palette the most. Oh, it looks so good like that. This looks so good on camera right now, but I know I'll use this one a lot, but it doesn't look as good. Cause you know, it's kind of like the cowgirl. She's wearing the pink, but then you have like the metal hardware of like silver and gold, you know? I think that's kind of cool to ground it. Okay, then we definitely need these in. Maybe, I don't know. These are from Luxy. The hot pink one's called Cherry Blossom. The other one's called Zinnia. I don't need both. I should just probably only put this one in. I thought it'd be fun to have something like darker, like this in, you know? but maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. I liked the idea of having a cool tone shade too, but it's kind of throwing off the look of the palette also. I definitely want this color in. Let's do that. I did pick a blackout. Also, this is the color Moments from Colored Rain. I did pick a blackout just to have it in the palette, but look, we're, we need one more color. I don't have anything in here super warm. I kind of want to put this in instead of this maybe. Like, I don't know what the hell this is gonna go with, you know? I guess it looks good with the gold, but that feels like the only color that it looks good with. Maybe I get rid of the black. I'm like really struggling with this part. I don't know why. I'm trying to really make it workable. I think that's why I'm taking a second. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think this is the palette I want. I'm gonna swatch it out for you guys. All right guys, so that is the palette. Um, I feel like all the like dark colors are all at the end here, but I think it's really pretty and I'm really into it. So many good sparkles like this middle row, which is what attracted me the most in the original palette. I think I really captured that um, with the textures and the shimmers that I want that palette to have. So I really love that about it. Cause again, that's like the thing that was tempting me the most for buying that palette. Super into it, really happy to have duped it out. I mean, again, using some of the textures and shadows I already have, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be better than what's in there. Not the same price point for sure, but with what I already have, I have the fantasy I want and I don't need to buy that, which wouldn't even deliver. All right, the last palette I wanna recreate is actually from Anastasia. And this one hasn't launched quite yet, but I do think it's really pretty. It's neutral with like a pop of almost like an orangey burnt color and also this 
really light lavender. I think it's pretty and I'm, you know, there's a part of me that's excited for Anastasia to get back to these kind of palettes, you know, like, especially cause I'm into neutrals now, but I don't know if I want to actually buy it. So I am going to recreate with what I have and hopefully I can find these colors cause I've already used some neutrals, but I'm just gonna shop again and see what I can find. All right, here we are. I definitely don't have all of the shades. I thought I had a better match for the purple, but I really don't. The only thing I have close in the shape I'm really looking for is Orchid from Copacetic. So that's going to be the purple I use. It's definitely deeper and brighter. It's not as light. So I might have a color more similar to it in like a palette, but as for this video, I didn't really have it. When it came to these really beautiful neutrals that were in here, I immediately thought of my Sydney Grace shadows and I actually picked some out of my already made palette, like the green one that we just did. I have some picked out, so we'll see if I actually use them in this one or not. The first shade is so pretty and I don't know, I, I just immediately thought of some of the cool tone colors I have from Sydney Grace. So this one is Tiara or Tiara. I mean, so metallic, it has that depth though when the, sh the light's not shining on it. I have a few other options though, um, again, all from Sydney Grace. This one's called Frosted Morning. It has that beautiful like coolness, but um, you know, it has the depth the whole way through. It doesn't have that shine on it. And then the other one is called Somber, which again is very similar to these ones. So it's more gray though than brown. And then this one is like, you know, different. I think, you know, this is the one that excites me the most. Although I almost feel like I would use Frosted Morning more because this is so highly metallic. It comes across that way on the eyes. And you know, there's some things just so sultry and subtle or like sexy, I guess, about the Frosted Morning. So I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. I'm gonna put Tiara in for now. Next is more of like a light golden shade. And I had two options essentially for that. They're both from Luxy. One is called Proper. This is the more actually like golden yellow. Really nice and pretty. And again, not super textured. I tried really hard. You guys know me, I love texture, I love shimmer. But I also really enjoy an eye look that doesn't have that too, especially as of lately. So I've been trying to, you know, maybe not go so textured. This one is so pretty. Uh, I didn't tell you the shade name, I don't think. Bitch Fit. <laughs> um, I think Bitch Fit has to go because I'm also making this for me. So I think I'm gonna try to go for more of the kind of soft, colors, the things that I think would look really good on the eyes that I'm kind of into, something kind of more luxury, satins, those types of things. So I decided to go with Bitch Fit, just so you guys know. Those are the first two. And then I have the purple, of course. Next we have like a bronze, right? So I picked the only bronze I think I picked out was one that I had in the other palette from Glam Shop. And I think this one's really pretty, maybe a little warmer than the one in the palette, but it was really hard to get swatches. So I'm gonna put that one in. And then we have the purple. Next, it seemed like this was more of a rose gold type of color, I guess. I have two options for it. This one is from On the Horizon, the Sydney Grace palette with Temp and that one's stunning. You know, has a rosy tone to it. I also have Coppa Feel from Luxy, which I think is more overtly rose gold. But which one do I pick? So that one's a Sydney Grace, and that one's, I think, the copper one. I think it's something more different. And then the last shade up there, Peach Harvest, immediately. I just told you guys about this one. It's green, but dark. Like you can't tell like what is that? And I mean, it feels like that exact color. So Peach Harvest is going in. And I mean, honestly, just some stunning shadows. I hope it's focusing okay. Next we have a cream shade. 
I don't really, I'm not really interested in cream shades, but um, maybe I'll find one. Let me just find one for this palette. I mean, this really isn't a cream. It's Kid from MAC, but I'll put Kid in. That's the closest I can get, I'm sorry. Then I want something kind of peachy. I have two options, these two. One is Picking Peaches, one is Secrets from ColourPop, the Picking Peaches one. Again, came from that uh, palette we already made from ColourPop. I think I'm gonna go with the Picking Peaches. Then we have a green. I just picked this one, Admiral from Sydney Grace. I mean, it's a nice dark army green, putting that in. Then I needed something really dark, sultry. I didn't know if I'd have something, but I went with Purple Sky from Sydney Grace, which is like this gray with texture. And I thought it was perfect. I think it's still perfect. I'm putting that in. Then we have the terracotta, which I have three options for. In the palette, it seems pretty bright. So I kind of want to pick the brightest one I have. This one's actually called terracotta from Luxie. That one's so good. I might put that in. Um, this is habanero from Luxie, which is more orange. This just feels like more of the palette to me. Uh, and then I also have Southern Flame. I think this is another one of those limited edition ones from Sydney Grace, but out of everything, I think Terracotta wins. Last, this color was really hard to figure out what it is. I don't think I have anything quite like it. So I have two options. Like I can either just like put a black in, I'd rather not. This is something a little different. This is Juice from Luxy, and it has a blackened base, so it's really dark, but it has like a golden and like a pink kind of shimmer, and I think that's kind of fun. So I think that might be the one that I put in. So I think that's my palette, my version. I think it's stunning. Some really great textures in here. I'm gonna swatch it out for you guys. All right, guys, so that's my palette. Um, I think it looks really luxe. I really like the textures that are in here. It's a lot of smooth textures instead of something really shimmery. I think most of the shimmer is coming from maybe these two. Um, it's a little bit dark. Some of the lid shades I feel like are a little dark, but I also have a lot to play with. I'm really excited for Bitch Fit. I don't think I've ever really gotten into that shadow because uh, it's kind of weird. It's like golden, but not, you know? It's like cool tone gold, and uh, right now that sounds great so yeah that's my version it's so pretty nice and dark sultry it almost feels like this mysterious jungle or forest and everything looks really like monochromatic and dark but then there's this purple flower just like waiting there like tempting or something i don't know that's what I get, that's the vibes. Okay, so let me show you the palette. I mean, one of mine is kind of destroyed now because I used this palette to create stuff. Yeah, I think everything that I took from here is in here now, <laughs> which just goes to show you also, um, one of the reasons I did that is because it goes to show that palettes repeat, right? This didn't seem like it's that close to this, but there are shades that match and like could easily go to each. I probably could have pulled stuff from even here too. So anyway, those are the palettes I created. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I was gonna do a tutorial, but I really wanna get this video up today. And I think that I just wanna play with the shadows and not worry about that. And I don't know what I wanna do for my eye look today because I have plans tonight. So I don't know if I want it to be one of these and I don't wanna like feel pressured, you know, you know how I have been with my makeup lately. Um, and I'd rather get a video up for you guys. So I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoyed the video, seeing all the different colors and textures. Like I just like that, but um, maybe, you know, if you were looking at some of these palettes and you have other ones, it could get you inspired to shop your stash, rearrange some things. I don't know, get excited about makeup you have. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.